it's important to have the senior pastor involved in the decisions. Without the leadership and the acknowledgement of the senior pastor, sometimes the building committee will flounder. But let them be a sidebar contributor to the process, a supportive sidebar contributor. And that leader should, should maintain that connection to, that, to the pastor or to the spiritual leadership. Someone, you're looking for somebody who is well-respected and, and potentially has leadership skills, who's done this before, who's been in front of a committee or who's been in front of a church. The building committee, by the way, is really a strong, one of the benefits of a building committee is they can form a strong liaison relationship to the rest of the congregation. When I go through a charrette process and I've worked with a team of people, we did this one in, in Arkansas I was telling you about, there were 12 people in the room. I am telling them that I'm looking to you folks to go through this process and own this project so you can go take it to the rest of the people. I'm, I don't live in Arkansas. I'm not going to be there to do that. You need to understand where the decisions came from and, and be and intricately involved so that when somebody says, well, why did you do it this way? You have a cohesive, good explanation. I always say to folks, I, I used to chair uh, different boards in my community, the, the American Institute of Architects boards I was on, uh, preservation boards, community boards, and I would always say, board together, board apart. We can sit in the room and we can have disagreements in the room. Let's work it out. Let's find unity. And when we leave this room, you may not agree with the final decision, but as a committee, we are together. 